Hey guys, this is Ryan. In this video, we're gonna go over some quick copy hacks that you can implement today in your Google Ads campaigns uh, to improve a campaign for a local or national client. Uh, it doesn't really matter whether you're doing this locally or nationally. This is still gonna apply. Um, and even if you're running a niche business and trying to come up with product ideas, this will help as well. But for the sake of this video, we're just gonna go over running Google Ads and writing the copy for that. So sometimes it can be hard to figure out what to put in that space, especially for H1s, H2s, and descriptions, let's be fair, because there's not that much space that they give you. They give you, I think it's 70, 75 character limit. Forget exactly how much it is, but um, it's hard to come up with new ideas outside of just the norm. Say you're running this for a dentist uh, in a certain area, you might be tempted just to put number one dentist in this area. That makes sense, and sometimes that performs really well. However, there are certain psychographics of your audience, certain things that your people, the people that you're targeting, are really interested in. Um, when they go to a dentist, they aren't just going there to get their teeth checked. There's a deeper reason, and if you can tap into that deeper reason, you're going to notice a lot higher CTRs and better cost per conversions. So let's jump over to my screen and I'll go over the first one. So the first place to look when it comes to writing copy for ads, for Google ads, is Yelp. So look through reviews. Reviews tell you pretty much everything about the psychographics of the people you're marketing to um, because the people who are really pissed off are going to tell you why and the people that are really happy are also going to tell you why. So you can use these elements in your ads to improve their effectiveness and most marketers, most local businesses aren't doing this so um, you're going to have a huge edge over them because they're just doing the standard ads. Um, now I might not just go through all of these but Effectively, what you want to do is just read through the reviews, get a, get a sense of what people liked and what they didn't like. And uh, certain words, certain phrases are going to pop out of you, out to you that you would not have normally thought of. For some reason, my computer is going really slow here. So read through each of these reviews. Make sure to look at not only the perfect five star, but also the one star, and more importantly, the three and four star and two star. Those are actually better ads or better reviews to read because those people are more hypercritical and they generally aren't biased. As a marketer, you probably know how easy it is to get fake reviews on here. All you gotta do is message one of your friends and have them do it. But as you read through, through these, you're gonna get an idea of what people like and what they don't. And what we found specifically for dentists, I'm not gonna show exactly um, all this, but was that people are looking for friendly dentists. Um, so simply putting the word friendly in the ad copy here, um, we notice no real significant increase in CTR, but check out the cost per conversions here. We have 161, which is quite terrible, $75 and then $32 at 14 conversions. So this data is significant enough to make a judgment on this. So essentially what we can say is that people are more interested in getting a friendly dentist than anything else. Um, this is a cool little hack and something really cool that we found and implemented. If you are a dentist, try this out. You don't even need to do this process, although I still recommend doing so. Um, the second place, the second hack that you want to look for, and this is assuming you already have a campaign running, is obviously in the search terms report. Actually, you can do this in the keyword uh, keyword tool as well. Search terms report for this other account. This is specifically for a hotel. So let's just go down this list and get an idea of what people are actually looking for. So as we scroll down here, some people are looking for luxury. Obviously, you want to look at impressions and clicks to see how many people are actually looking for these, these terminology, this terminology. Um, but here we go, Portsmouth, New Hampshire hotels on the water. Um, so people are looking for hotels on the water. This is specific because this town, which is actually my neighboring town, is right on the seacoast, so it makes sense. People are looking for luxury hotels, the best, boutique, Boutique is a big one. Um, downtown. So a lot of location terms. And this is exactly what we found. 
Um, so including downtown, including on the water or ocean views or waterfront in your ads, increased our CTR significantly for this. So that's the second hack that you want to do for copy is just going through your search terms reports or using the Google keyword planning tool and you'll notice trends in what people are actually looking for. So I think that small little hack is really helpful. Um, that's mostly for local marketing, um, but let's say you just wanna, you want a product idea. Um, a really good strategy is this going to Amazon or forums, and I talk about this in a market research video that I already made, but looking at the reviews of everything, of, of these books, so let's say like depression, um, uh, and hopefully it's a book, so. <laughs> Well, it doesn't really matter if it's a book or not, but either way, whatever your product is that you're looking to create, go through the reviews and get a really good sense of the psychographics of the people that you're marketing to and pull out those key phrases and key terms that they're looking for and include that in your copy. It's going to increase uh, your message to them. It's going to improve your message to them and increase conversions. So hopefully that was helpful. Really quick video for this 30-day video challenge. If you liked it, click like. Comment if you have any questions or ideas of changes that you made in your copy that made significant improvements. We want to hear it. Help us out. And um, subscribe to the channel if you want more. See you guys in the next one. Cheers.